costume. The lollipop costume had polka dots on it. With some way at baynews9.com or watch on your schedule at Marketplace on Demand, Channel 341. It's hard to buy a new car these days and not get the new technology with it. Lots of people like the bells and whistles, like video and internet, but some say they are just added distractions on the road. Baynews 9's real-time traffic expert Chuck Henson takes a closer look in tonight's special assignment. More and more gadgets are going into our cars. A recent poll says 76% of people believe in-car technology is too distracting. Yet that same survey showed more than half also thought techno gadgets made driving more enjoyable. So how do we balance the benefit and the risk? Brett Muncy has spent a lot of time making his wheels tech savvy. I'm a real gadget hound. I really like gizmos. I like to try out the latest in technology. His truck is equipped with video, internet, camera, printer, and GPS. Even with all these toys, he has strict rules on when and where to use his technology. I don't try to use it while I'm driving, actually. It's either I'm stopped or I'll pull over. Dr. Chan Young Lee is a researcher at the Center for Urban Transportation Research at USF. He's found that texting and talking on the phone is equal to some of the everyday things we already do in the car. So the study found actually texting and um, the talking on the phone while you're driving is less amount of workload per incident compared to changing radio station in the car. The problem is we do every time. You're not supposed to change the radio station 24-7 when you're driving. Did you catch that? Just sitting here playing with the radio is just as dangerous. It's just that many of us text or call or check email or fiddle with the GPS dozens of times per trip. His advice is to know your car's technology before you hit the road. Once you have a new car and then now it comes with a different gadgets, that you may want to spend enough time to understand it before you drive and use it. Knowing how and when to use your car's gadgets will help everyone get there safely. Chuck Henson, Bay News 9. While the majority of texting and driving crashes occur in a younger age group, there is a growing number of crashes among older drivers unfamiliar with their car's technology systems. The worst place to try to figure out how things work is in your car while it's moving or even at a red light. You're watching Bay News 9, an exclusive local programming service from Bright House Network.